Good morning. So I was literally in bed watching Coffee Break with Danny's live. Um, she was just doing like a live thing on um, Instagram and I was watching and I freaking love her. And she said, oh, Jessica, like my best friend in my head. I'm like, girl, I thought we were best friends in real life. <laughs> I want to meet her so badly. Anyway, there is a woodpecker right outside our bedroom window. I'm now in our bathroom. And every once in a while, he wakes me up and he's like, <laughs> pecking the wood, I guess. But we've never, I think Tyler's seen him with his own eyes. And it's so random because I'm like, should we be like doing something about it? Like, is he going to ruin anything? But it's so sporadic and Tyler hasn't noticed any like damage or anything. But it's just so weird when you hear it. You're like, what is that? Like, it's like, boom, boom. it sounds like this. So it sounds like someone's outside your window, like knocking on it. It is terrifying. <laughs> Anywho, but Woody Woodpecker. So I'm going to go downstairs and have some coffee. What did you say the other day when I mentioned? Well, Jessica's best friend in the world. <laughs> I don't even know her last name. It's Danny. What's her last name? Actually, uh, I don't know if she makes it known, and I don't know that I know it. Okay, well, never mind. So <laughs> best friend, don't know her last name. Anyway, she has a channel called Coffee Break with Danny, and Jessica's always talking about Coffee Break with Danny. Ah! Okay, not always. You're making me sound so desperate, but it's... Always. <laughs> anyway, so I said, I got to mix up on it. It's coffee break with Danny. And I said, Danny break with coffee or something like that. Anyway. You're like, oh yeah, Danny break with coffee? I'm like, wait. It's kind of what, yeah. I'm just going to have a Danny break with some coffee. I like your giant Fruit Loop toy. Your Fruit Loops. Hello. You need your face wiped off. Very serious stuff. <laughs> mm, good morning. Putting more of Gigi's laundry away. And I actually... Went through and a lot of this is like new stuff that I took the tags off and washed because she's finally starting to fit in six month clothes. Um, look, how did you get there? You were sitting up a second ago. How did you get there? <coughs> Pinocchio did this to the eye of her favorite little stuffed animal and it is so sad. <coughs> I love you, it's almost your nap time, girl. So there's an eye cream I've been using that I don't think has launched yet. So I don't think I can tell you what it is. But I have been obsessed with it and it's killing me not to tell you. It's a pricier one, but you guys, I'm telling you, let me give you an example. I've been using like, this is not the one. I've been using this Drunk Elephant Sea Tango eye cream. And I always just kind of feel like I'm just like putting it on. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like I just feel like eh, it's not really doing much. I mean, I... Let me start over. It's moisturizing. There's some good stuff in it. I don't think it's a bad eye cream, but this other eye cream I've been using, I'm telling you, I'm noticing a difference like in the way my under eye actually looks. And I feel like the more I've used it, the more I'm like, oh my gosh. So I can't wait to tell you what it is, but y'all are gonna have to wait. So Pixie sent this over and I get this from them where it'll have my name on it. And it's so freaking cool and so sweet. And I love the Pixie brand, however, I didn't have a great, great experience with the Glow Tonic when I tried it like a year and a half, two years ago. I'm nervous to try it again. What has been your experience? Um, I feel like my skin can handle a lot and that's why it like took me by surprise. So I think this little thing is so cute that they sent, but I'm like, it's literally only useful to me if I'm using this, you know what I mean? Otherwise it's just like, unless something happens to fit that perfectly and I need cotton pads with it, you know what I mean? So anyway. Um, so I want to use it. I want to like it. What has been your experience with glow tonic? Like, do you, have you figured out a way to use it in your regimen? Where do you fit it in? Do you notice like sensitivity? Cause I felt like my skin was turning uber red when I was using it. Um, and I used it for maybe like a week or two. So do I need to just power through and keep using it? Like, let me know your thoughts. I'm very curious because this is one of those products that I feel like is very polarizing. Either people are obsessed with it, love it, use it always, or, they don't like it, kind of like me. Maybe they didn't have as great of an experience. So let me know, because I'm willing to try it again, taking one for the team. Oh, Wonder Beauty sent over a gift for me from the hot, like for the holidays. So sweet. Um, it's a slip silk eye mask. I've heard about the pillowcases. I've never tried those either, but it's the same brand and it's their eye mask. Have you guys tried these? What are your thoughts? It's a very nice gift. Thank you, Wonder Beauty. I'm excited to give it a try. I don't usually sleep with a mask, but I like having them when I travel, like on the plane. So, bougie. 
Okay, so I need to get real clothes on, but I'm wearing on my lips the Dose of Colors Spill the Deets lip gloss. I know I've talked about these in like every single freaking video, but I love these lip glosses so much and they smell like a dream too. Um, and then I just broke um, out a brand new It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara because it's been a while since I've used it and I've loved it for years. Um, and I have a, a lot on backup um, because I felt like my Charlotte Tilbury beloved best mascara I've ever tried, Legendary Lashes Volume 2, I feel like this dried out very fast. I'm like, no. So I might try um, putting, what is it that you put in mascara that sometimes will work? Um, is it saline drops? That can't be right. But I don't think it's eye drops either. So anyway, I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to revive this and see because $32 for mascara that dries out after like a month and a half, two months, no. But it's so freaking good. Why? But anyway, It Cosmetics Superhero, I do still love. I feel like it really like makes my lashes super curled and black, but I, I will say I still think the Charlotte Tilbury one is better. I'm sorry, you guys. And I finally, if you saw my Charlotte Tilbury review video, you know that I love this contour wand. I finally bought the, basically the highlighting wand of that, and I used it today. I like it. It's, um, it's going to take some getting used to using because it's punchy in a good way, but um, I just love the applicators on these. It's just a little sponge. Um, here, let me pull out this one because it's a little bit thinner. Um, it's just a sponge, you squeeze the product out and you can dot it on your face or wipe it on your face, whatever. Um, it wouldn't be ideal if you're using it like on other people, but if you're just using it on yourself, I think it's perfect. Um, yeah, I need to like actually put away my makeup though because now we've just got a mess on our hands here. <laughs> Tyler just ran in oh the room. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I Okay, I put out, a, okay, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> the other day, Jessica showed me this video on Twitter and it's this guy like- Well, doing... someone shared it with us actually. Okay, yes, yeah, so, okay. Um, and it's this guy like singing over the Golden Girls theme song and it's amazing. And so I went, I literally tweeted that out and I was like, I'm serious. I want somebody to show me how to make this a ringtone. And so I was just editing our vlog that actually is gonna go up today, but it's yesterday's vlog, but I talk about yeah. it. And I just was like, I just want to look and see if the Golden Girls theme song is actually on like iTunes. Like, can I, can I buy it for a ringtone? And the remixed gospel remix version is actually a ringtone on there. Play it. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm buying it. <laughs> Best part. So Very John Legend there at the end. Yeah. Oh my $1. gosh. $1.29. Worth $1.29. I've never pressed it so fast in my life. <laughs> and if you were curious, by the way, the BB cream I used um, was, did I say I was using BB cream? I used a BB cream. <laughs> uh, is my Misha Beauty BB cream that I love. I mix the shades 23 and 21. Um, I think I could go with 21. They're very gray toned. So I, I just feel like these BB creams aren't for everyone, which is horrible because the shade range is weird and um, very gray toned, but there's something about it that just looks right on my skin. I can't explain it. And the, the first like minute of putting it on, I'm like, oh no. But then within like two or three minutes, it's like it sinks into my skin and it looks so nice. It's got decent coverage, but I'm um, introducing retinols and retinoids into my skin and there can be kind of a peeling process with that. And so I've got little bits of skin that are just, it's its weird peeling. It's not like peeling when you like get sunburn as a kid and it's, it's different. It's like a thinner layer, it's very odd. So I don't feel like it's super obvious, but I don't feel like when I put on high coverage foundations, it just does not look good. So I'm just kind of doing some BB creams as my skin gets used to it. There's a lot of research you can do on this. I was doing some this morning because it's still new to me. Um, but yeah, so working through that, but I feel like BB cream, it doesn't like illuminate them or anything like that. So I feel like that's nice. And I just avoided powder completely. I didn't even put powder eyeshadow on. <laughs> Say, look at my shoes. Oh my goodness. You look like a Target goal. That's what I said. <laughs> We're going to Target and Gigi looks ready. For she looks party. like she should be in the ad for Target. <laughs> I'm just a cute baby, that's all. <laughs> I told Gigi, I'm like, oh, Gigi, you're going to love Target. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go.
going. Get your hand out of there. Okay. <laughs> Heading into Target. Ooh. It is a rainy day. <laughs> oh, actual heaven. So I'm looking at these Sonia Kashuk bags. These are so cute. I love that it's three layers. And like the top one has like a makeup brush holder in it. I don't know what Tyler was talking about, but he was saying that there's some beauty blender. He was like, have you seen it? It's like the top of it's pink and then the bottom's orange. I'm like, what? I looked where he was pointing and I didn't see it, but he's going to go get undershirts. I'm like, that's so cute that he was excited to tell me that, but I don't know what he was talking about. He's so sweet. Yes, this is a pretty good gift set. They have like, I wouldn't get one half off. That's my favorite hairspray right there. Mm -mm -mm. I think I might try these Eyelure Wispy ones. Have you guys tried them? I'm gonna definitely have to cut them off because they're gonna be too long, um, like on the sides, but it's, they look promising. <laughs> this is what he meant. Actually, this looks really cool. I have been dying to try this Kristen S line, so I think I'm gonna get this cleansing conditioner for when I wear my hair curly, and then I'm gonna get her dry shampoo. They're like more expensive, but they're not like insanely expensive. You know what I mean? They're kind of middle of the road. <laughs> We were in the prettiest part of the store, the Magnolia, Hearth This lady, whatever. what's her name? I don't even know her name. Joanna, Joanna Gaines. Gaines. Hey girl. <sighs> she knows her stuff. Yeah. Um, but look at that. You do need that. Good morning, handsome. Mm. <laughs> you do need that. Uh -huh. is, I literally want one of absolutely everything. I want this tray and I don't know what I want it for. I'm like, maybe I'll put my skincare on it, on my vanity or my brushes. I don't know, I just think I need it. <laughs> You guys, the theme of this uh, <laughs> Lugmas cast iron, this Lodge cookware is amazing. This is what we have. It's only $20 for that 12 inch skillet. Unbelievable. I mean, and it will last a lifetime. Also, they have one that's even bigger now that I'm gonna have to get because I'm, I need it. I need to complete the collection. <laughs> oh, I just love it. We are getting some of these Yasso um, like ice cream bars, we're getting two different kinds of those, and then we are also getting some Halo Top. It's like buried. Um, we're trying to eat healthier. We both keep well, editing. Well, lol, but we can't um, not have ice cream. Yeah. But sorry, we both keep so. editing these vlogs. We're both looking at, looking at ourselves in the vlogs like, we need to lose weight. <laughs> so, so here we are. <laughs> here we are trying to get some, because we want burgers, but maybe do turkey burgers. Maybe something, <laughs> exactly. something a little bit healthier. <laughs> Well, well, well. So people have been asking, because <laughs> we went grocery shopping the other day and they're like, oh, you should have shown what you got. So I'm like, oh, okay. That's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, so we Where got- Where you start? Here, start over here so we can- Yeah. One of these is a white elephant gift. Like an actually useful white elephant gift. You did, like a cast iron pan. Yeah, because we're, yeah, we're not doing like gag gifts. We're doing like, yeah, oh, oh. So oh, I guess oh. it's not really white elephant. It's just a gift exchange. No, but it's white elephant because you the, the swap. Yankee swap. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, this is like one of the best, in my opinion. Uh, white elephant gifts. It's 20 bucks. So, but it's something that will last like a lifetime. So if you're looking for a white elephant gift. I have never tried a baby built cheese. I know. Yeah. So we got these. Yeah. Just because we went a little snacky. You're snacky. Uh, anyway, so we got some. I'm trying these new, this brand. I've never even heard of it. Too Good. It's by Yo yogurt. Play, like Light and Fit. But yeah, it's yogurt. And then we got our Halo Tops we were telling you guys about. Um, so I got cookie dough and he got cookies and cream. And then I also got cookie dough. Clearly I like cookie dough <laughs> of this and then the mint chocolate chip. We've had the mint chocolate chip and it was really good before we found it. Um, and then we needed some chicken breast, just frozen chicken breasts. And then I think we talked about, we're just the gonna try burgers, the turkey yeah. burgers. And I drink a lot of milk and I always get 2%. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try and get like skim milk. <sighs> you no, know, it tastes like water, I know. That's yeah, what I grew up on skim milk. Um, anyway, and then I got, oh, you got your yogurt, the mm -hmm. Oikos triple zero stuff. And then I, I showed some of this in the store, but I picked up a few things. I didn't show, I picked up this and something There's else something, oh, it's over from there. Honest Beauty, okay. Yeah. Um, this is like a balm you can use on your lips, your cuticles, things like that. So I was like, ooh. And then this is what Tyler was talking about. I meant I vlogged about earlier, so I'm <laughs> excited to try that. Looks like half of it, it says use the orange side to apply foundation, pink side to contour, highlight, or apply blush. I mean, I use my sponge for everything, so it'd be kind of nice to have designated sides. And then I showed you the lashes. I got, this is a cleansing conditioner, so it's like a one step for like curly hair or dry hair. Mm. Um, so I'm excited to try that. Kristen S, like everyone talks about, and it's sold at Target. And then I wanted to try her dry shampoo, because the one I have, I'm almost out of. You can get that on Amazon, the Trixie thing. But oh yeah, that. No, Pinocchio, see it, it's his Christmas it's his gift. Christmas gift. <laughs> Um, and then we got some grapes, bananas. This is, 
My favorite. Is it your favorite too? Spring oh, yeah. mix is my favorite kind of. I'm um, taking a salad. That's right. Yeah. It's just okay. always. One thing, one thing we've noticed is that a lot of times when we get these big things, whether it's Target, Meyer, whatever, I feel like they expire so fast, but then they'll have other ones that expire in like a week. And I feel like it's always been like consistent mm -hmm. like with that. So always check the expiration date on this. Is it good? Yeah. Also, I've always wanted to try Baby Bell cheese, but now um, Disney um, in the Toy Story Land has you know these. That? And so I'm like, well, now we definitely have to try them. Mm. Mm. Anyway, oh, dang, my good. favorite apple is like, Honeycrisp. It's like even better, like a uh, string cheese. Mm. Mm. Broccoli, honey crisp apple is my favorite. My dad told me it's a lab apple. I didn't realize that. Mm. I was like, well, also, boy, they figured it out. We got this because it's the lodge cast iron, like our big one over there is 12, 12 inches. And like none of our lids fit it right. So they actually have. We had no idea they had a lid. They, yeah, they I've sold never a seen lid. it before. I wonder if they, I feel like lodge is one of those brands that's kind of coming up. It's been around forever, but it's coming up again. Like, yeah, like there's like a cast iron movement, I feel like. Yeah. You're um, a big part of it, Tyler. I am, yeah. And then, Tyler, you got some deodorant. <laughs> smells really good. Is this the stuff you had before? Mm hmm It smells really good. And then, he I've needed undershirts. undershirts. <laughs> I have four undershirts, and uh, either I'm getting really fat or they're, they shrunk. So, I don't know. Either way, Stop. none of them fit me anymore. No, but the, yours, I think they shrunk because they were like belly shirts. That doesn't make any sense. It's not like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, it was just odd. Um, and then, oh, I got a new brush. This... Uh, I am obsessed with that one wet brush, so I'm like, I now want to try all of their stuff. But um, I needed, I keep breaking my round brushes with my crazy hair. <laughs> so I needed a new one. Anyway, what else? Oh, we used our produce bag. If you saw my Amazon gift guide, these were the produce bags we were talking about. They're from Colony Co. I can link them below. Um, you can get like different variations of it, but we've got like our produce. So we've got like onions and some. I got some avocados. Um, more onions. Yeah, I think it's three onions. All onions, onions yeah. yeah. And, and then, then some, my favorite cauliflower. They did not have, ooh, that was already. Oh, is this the one I picked up? This is like really not, I mean, we're going to need well, to cook we're it like. Do it soon, then. Yeah. Anyway, also, and then uh, what are these, Tyler? Yeah, yeah, these, okay. I only buy clothes if they're like super on a clearance. Um, these were shorts. Obviously, it's winter. Um, originally $30 <laughs> on sale for $8.98. Both of them were right, and they're kind of like the that nice, like kind of like golfing shorts, if you yeah, will, like, like like sports shorts. sports wick, yeah, yeah. not um, golfing, but you know what I mean. Yeah, good. Those deals. are nice. I only, yeah, that's a Tyler Brown deal if I've ever heard of one. Yeah. Oh, and then just for funsies, <laughs> these I bought on Bye Bye Baby because uh, it's a long story, but to get the shipping, I need it doesn't matter. I ended up <laughs> buying some stuff, and it's uh, these little tights. And it's um, nine to 18 months, so I don't think they'll fit her yet, but I was like, that, she's gonna be set for quite a while, and it's like every color we would ever need. And then these, they're six to nine months, so it'll it'll be big on her, honestly, yeah. now. But look how cute those are, Tyler. Oh my gosh. Stick it with some tights. Oh, we she got just, a pineapple, too. Do we see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, my did, favorite, uh, blackberries. Did you finish that Babysville cheese? Yeah, I wasn't planning on, like, I got splitting one it with you. <laughs> Open your next one, and I'll get one bite no, again. No, forget that. it. You don't love me anymore. I love you, but I love cheese more. <laughs> Okay, so we ended up making making like kind of Caesar salads mm, minus yeah. the romaine and it's like plus half a boiled egg salad, and salad half Caesar. Caesar. Cause we're gonna use the Caesar dressing that is not healthy, but we're like, eh. Um, but it looks so good, this Parmesan Caesar. Caesar, I can't say that. Oh my <laughs> yeah. gosh, anyway. And we're gonna finish the last um, half of Christmas Chronicles. We have not, we yeah. watched the first half the other day, but we're gonna finish the second Yeah, half. so good um, night. And some freshly grated Parmesan cheese that I, it smells so good. It really does. It's like smelling to the high heavens yeah. in the best of ways. Okay, just finished a Christmas, the Christmas Chronicles, cried. It was really good. Yeah. It was surprisingly good. I mean, it's a Christmas movie and, you know, they're yeah. just, but, so I have this weird obsession, like, where I love when Santa puts his finger to the side of his nose and, like, winks or whatever it is. Um, anyway, and it all started when, like, was it a few Christmases ago or, like, we'd watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade and, like, Santa, one Santa we saw did it, like, way too much and it just cracked me up. But now I'm, like, I just, like, I can't explain it's it. Not I just unless he does it. Unless I see Santa do it. So then we were at, in Disney about a month ago and there was a Santa at the end of their Christmas parade and I'm seeing him, I'm like, he's got to do it, he's got to do it. And finally he did it, like, last minute. And I was like, yes! Well, we're watching this movie and, like, halfway through they're trying to escape something and he does it and it's like yes and then literally the last half of the movie he does it a ton and it is amazing i am weird <laughs> all right so 
So I am going to edit this video. I'm sitting at my desk and we're gonna cut it off here. Um, Tyler's downstairs doing a couple of dishes, so we're gonna go to bed pretty soon. We're getting pretty tired, but I hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow's video will be on Tyler's channel, Tyler Travels TV. We'll see you guys in our next one.